Hey, what's up? I hope you're all having a great day. I am loving life right now. Anyways, today's video, I'm super excited because I did a lot of stuff this summer and I'm not showing everything, but if you were interested in what I was up to this summer, um, this is kind of a recap of what I did this summer. After leaving Hawaii, I was really hoping to be able to post about like the days off I had during the summer, which there is 11 weeks where I had one day off a week. And besides that, I was just go, go, go from seven o'clock in the morning till nine, 10 at night, no stop. So I had absolutely no time to film, edit, or do anything. But on my days off, I did tend to film. Um, I did a lot of fun stuff and uh, I filmed off and on during those things. I didn't film every day. Um, I primarily did two things. Um, that being swimming and rock climbing. And most of the days I did rock climbing. I think there was only one day I didn't go rock climbing. Some of those days in, that I went rock climbing involved swimming, but I'm super excited. But it kind of starts my last day in Hawaii, transitions into me showing up here in California, and then show some of the cool things I did this summer. That being said, let's get this video started. Check in with me back in Hawaii, back in June of this year and see what I was up to. Good morning. It is my last morning in Hawaii on the island of Oahu. It is 9.41 and uh, Sunday, June 18 at 3.30 I fly out and I'm going to California. It is 3.45 in the morning and uh, I just got here to uh, where I'm going to be in Northern California. I'm just put up in this random room for tonight. I don't know where I'm staying or really what's going on, but I'm going to go to bed because I have to get up in like four hours, three hours. So once I got to Hawaii, I actually started work the very next morning and it was such an amazing experience. I absolutely loved what I was doing this summer. I'll have fond memories about it forever. And actually being where I was is how I got to where I am today and the job I have today. And so if it wasn't for that experience, I would not be here. So on the hot days, I typically tried to get in water and I mean, this, this summer was really hot. It was hotter than typical. And even up in the mountains, you know, 8,000 feet, you still had days that were up into the 90s and it was just way too hot to be hiking around, climbing up in the mountains some days. We had a lot of fun playing around in the water on multiple days. Some days when we went out climbing and it was too hot or some days we just decided, you know what, we're not going climbing at all. We're just gonna go hang out in the water and have some fun. That uh, nifty, quick, makeshift uh, rope swing going on. No big deal. Wrap three full two. Pull on a bike, carabiner. <laughs> Not going anywhere. <laughs> Let me tell you something, that rope swing thing that you just saw was one of the 
honestly probably one of my favorite things I've done or I did all summer. Um, I absolutely obviously love the climbing and stuff, but that was so much fun. We just randomly came across this bridge out in the middle of nowhere and this super deep pool under it. We checked the pool. Let's build a rope swing. We had the stuff we had just come from climbing and it was way, way too hot. It was super, super cool and fun to just like randomly find this bridge and build this rope swing and just have a little f fun on it for an hour or so before leaving. And but before we get to the actual climbing footage, we did a whole lot of hiking and driving in absolutely beautiful places. And honestly, when you're out in the mountains, a lot of the enjoyment, a lot of your total experience comes from getting to the destination. It might not actually be the climbing or the lake you get to or, or whatever you're doing but a lot of times the driving and the hiking and everything that comes with it, it creates this full package that makes the entire day or weekend or week or whatever it is that much more enjoyable. But once we got to where we were going, it was time to rack up, pack up, and have a fun time. It is 10.15. Bobby, what are we doing? We're about to climb Sands of Time. On Calaveras Dome. Calaveras Dome. So, uh, well, we're gonna attempt to climb it anyways. It's kind of a bit of a late start, but packing up, getting ready to go. We are here. So we're starting pitch one. Bobby's racked up, ready to go. Uh, it's kind of hot. We thought we were going to be in the shade and we're not. I was full, wrong. full sun exposure, but uh, we'll have fun anyways. I don't know how far we're gonna go, but we'll, we're gonna crush it. First multi pitch of the summer, woo! Ready to follow Bobby up, pitch one. Just pulling the rope up, I'm all tied in. Got the pack on, ready to go. The adventure begins. Pitch one. Bobby and I both suffered. This was a suffer fest getting up here. <laughs> super, super hot. And just like, it's brutal. So we're packing it up, bailing off of top of pitch one. I've been
figured we'd at least get to pitch six or something and fail. But uh, not happening today. Too hot and I'm too out of practice, I think. Or at least too hot. That's, so. But it's a pretty good view. Lots of exposure. Pulling the rope just wrapped from up there. One more wrap to the ground. Bobby, <laughs> Anna, <laughs> what are we up to? We're gonna get first descent on this round up here. All right, so we're headed up, going to that big corner. But it's really cool. We uh, this is a wall. We named it Immigrant Wall. Where was the route you guys put up? Up there. Up around the corner. Up around the corner route last week, and we're gonna try to get one to the top here. So we actually didn't end up filming um, the rest of that climb for various reasons. Uh, we were route finding and trying to put up a brand new route. Nobody else had ever climbed it. That was super, super fun. Um, and so the rest of these climbing clips are just from a, a different day. We were out in the same area doing some short single pitch stuff. It was a lot of fun. We were just taking it easy, taking it chill. These next clips are not from that at all. So that was basically how my summer went. Obviously, like I, I said at the beginning, I did not film everything. Um, I mean, that was basically all the footage from this came from like four days off. And so there was five other days off that I had some footage from, but it didn't really fit or I didn't really get any footage that I thought was worth putting in. But it kind of shows you some of the areas I was in. I was in these beautiful alpine areas. It was fantastic. I absolutely loved it. I got some footage of some of these areas that I thought about putting into this video, but I think I'm just gonna make fully different, like standalone videos on it. Um, so you'll be seeing, there's a place called Shilor Lake we went to, we did a lot of exploration around there. In fact, where we put up that first ascent was out around Shilor Lake area. I know there's probably not as much variation as you would be expecting from an entire recap, but the reality is I kind of did the same things each week, just different places. I don't, I honestly don't know why I didn't get footage at some of the places. I don't know. You know, this summer I was really struggling just because of the fact that I knew I didn't have time to edit and I wasn't really thinking ahead. I wasn't thinking, like, I'm not the type of person that likes to take a bunch of footage. What in the world? This thing's totally coming off. I'm not the type of person that want, likes to take a bunch of footage and then go through it later. There's something about it I like. When I take footage, I want to sit down that night or the next day and edit it. And I think it's because when I'm shooting, I have an idea of what I want each clip to go for and kind of the overall arc that I want the video to be like. And so when I wait six months, like I have for a lot of this, well, it hasn't been six months, four months. Um, I don't, I've lost all that. And so I'm kind of putting, I'm piecing things together. And so I was struggling with videoing the summer because I knew I wouldn't be able to put any of it together until basically now. I didn't video as much as I wanted to. When I look back, you know, honestly, it was good. I think if I had videoed more, it would have detracted for from some of my time off and it would have maybe made me feel like I needed to do some editing through the summer and take more time away from other things. And so I'm not upset about it. When I was putting this together, it was a lot more blotchy than I expected. I expected there to be more content, but that was my summer basically. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you're interested in seeing more stuff, what I've been up to through this fall, I have a Sheilor Lakes video coming up, another kind of exploration, finding a new climbing area video. I have like maybe three videos that should be coming out in the next three weeks on Sundays. So 
there'll be there'll be stuff coming. So if you're interested in what I kind of stuff like this, what I've been doing, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be skiing this winter. Um, I'm going to visit my parents on Thanksgiving, and we'll probably be doing some videoing then. Follow along for the journey because I'm having fun, and so I hope you guys have fun as well. So until next week, I hope you have a fantastic week, and peace out.